ಹಲೋ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಸರ್ವೇ ಜನ ಸುಖಿನೋ ಭವಂತು ಐ ಎಮ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಅನಿರುದ್ಧ ಜಗನ್ನಾಥ್ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಎ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸಿಂಗ್ ನ್ಯೂರೋ ಸರ್ಜನ್ ಅಟ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ರ ಆರ್ ವಿ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ ಜೆ ಪಿ ನಗರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರ್ ಟುಡೇ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಚಾಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅ ಕಾಮನ್ ನ್ಯೂರೋ ಸರ್ಜಿಕಲ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಎಲ್ಡರ್ಲಿ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅಸ್ ಕ್ರಾನಿಕ್ ಸಬ್ಡೂರಲ್ ಹೆಮಟೋಮಾ ಆಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಗಾರ್ಡನ್ ಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಸಿಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೆಂಟ್ ಎಲ್ಡರ್ಲಿ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ the geriatric population comes with a unique set of problems whether it is heart related or brain related condition and chronic subdural hematoma is one of the common problems we see in the elderly population if i have to tell you about the anatomy of the cranium or the or the head so there is a skin underneath the skin lies the skull which is the bone underneath the skull lies a thin layer called as dura which covers the brain and underneath the dura lies the brain in chronic subdural hematoma basically what happens is a layer of clot get collected over the brain and underneath the dura and that's what is called as chronic subdural hematoma so this problem is very common and we usually see nearly 5 to 6 patient for a lack of population that's the incidence of chronic subdural hematoma these patients can present to us with gait disturbances urinary incontinence sometimes drowsiness sometimes confusion sometimes difficulty in talking and weakness in the limbs and sometimes with headache they might there might be a uh, typically a history of trivial trauma that might have happened nearly couple of weeks or months back and patients who are on blood thinners for any other reasons like for a heart condition or a previous neurological conditions are at a higher risk of getting this chronic subdural hematoma even with trivial falls these symptoms should not be brushed aside saying that it might be a normal uh, aging process or a dementia and that needs to be evaluated by a neurosurgeon or a neurologist so when we have a patient like this in our hospital we examine the patient and then we perform either a ct scan or an mri of the brain to diagnose chronic subdural hematoma and depending on the thickness if the clot size is thin and small we tend to manage it conservatively and these clots slowly resolve over a period of time sometimes these clots are thick and they'll be pressing on the underlying brain then we may have to intervene in the form of surgery sometimes we do bur holes we put two holes in the skull and release this clot and release the pressure on the brain sometimes we make a craniotomy wherein we make a round opening in the skull remove the bone evacuate the clot put back this piece of bone and fix it with plates and screws typically these patients will be having a drain in the subdural space for a day or two and their expected hospital stay is around 4 to 5 days most patients will have good outcome and we need to be sure that the patient is under regular checkup by their neurologist or a neurosurgeon to prevent future issues to summarize chronic subdural hematoma is a common problem in an elderly population and it requires a neurologist or a neurosurgeon's assistance to manage this condition at astor rv hospitals we are well equipped to manage these conditions and we can tell you that we will treat you well